What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Guys, I'm pretty pumped to show you this one today. Uh, this is a pretty awesome video. Uh, this is going to be a pretty great video. So, right here, we have one of the tools that I would say is a must-have tool now. And the reason why I say that is because it's overlooked a lot of times. I see guys, like, wasting their time trying to look down and stuff. And I'm, hey, can we see anything in there? This is this is the way to go. Now I do have some pros and cons about this, but uh, I like this uh, like this endoscope. And I, you guys know that I have some other ones. We're going to actually do. I'm going to do. I have another one that I got. I'm going to do a review on them. I'm going to do a review on all three of them together. Kind of talk about you know because I I just kind of got really picky about what I wanted, and uh, so I got three different ones. I got a Skyview Basic, which I've done a video on, which you guys already said. I'm going to do this video, okay? And then I've got another one. I'm going to do a video on. And we're going to talk about all three of them, and I'm going to tell you why I like what price differences and where they're going to leave at for you. But let's open this guy up here and get to looking at it. Uh, this is the Limic, the Limic endoscope, and I, I like this little guy. It's a little compact little fellow. Let me uh, let me set you up here. Okay, so this has a 11 and a half foot cord, and I've been using this, believe it or not. Um, I just keep it in the case. I, it doesn't have a case. I will say I'm kind of disappointed with that. It comes with a USB for your uh, card to put into your code reader, which is comes with a little reader. This does have a two megapixel camera, which is not exactly ideal. I will tell you that. Henry, are you getting in the shot? Are you getting in the shot? Uh, yeah, Henry's just pacing around. He wants to kill mice or something. I don't know. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so this has a unique feature compared to a lot of other things, and that's that right there. It has three different lenses. And uh, comes with, obviously, a little deal of hooks and magnets, which are nice. I have used these before, and let me tell you, these little guys, I don't, you know, people just don't understand. Uh, it is a micro USB-C, another bonus, another plus. I know, you're like, CP, stop yakking. Bella, turn it on and let us see it. So pretty simple button use. Pretty quick fire up. Pretty quick fire up, okay? Straight up to the ceiling. And uh, let's talk about some of the features and I'll kind of show you more about the actual the actual tool itself. So it has rotate on it. You just simply hold this button over here to the far right. And you can change different areas, which is definitely handy. So what I like, what I was trying to do. Let me just throw it down here. <sighs> I know Steven Spielberg didn't got nothing on me. So let's just. So I was upside down. Instead of trying to spin your deal, I can rotate this 360 degrees. Well, I guess you can rotate it certain. So now I'm kind of. Hey, fellas, get you into the right angle. Your light t intensity, the light intensity here, I'm pointing it back here so you guys can see me too. The light intensity goes back up. And then we have your photo capture. Rotate there. Settings. Date time. Not in too much right there. It does have like a 32 gig card in it, which is pretty, pretty robust, I thought. And let's talk about the different camera features because that's the big one. Let's get it locked out of this one. Camera features. Oh, side boob. <laughs> so we have the, and it also has light for the side, which I had to find the right side. So now you have a feature on the side with this that you can look. It's kind of pixelated. It's not too crazy. And I know I, I'm going to show this down the cylinder. Okay, but I'm just showing you the initial unboxing of this thing and talking about it. Because I really like this one. I think this is my one of my favorite ones. Stop rotating on me, sucker. Come on, you silly sucker. The light intensity works on the side here, too. Get to the basics. Of course, then we're getting the light of the... Too many lights in here. I like lights, but uh, yeah, anyways... Let's look at the other side. There we go. Now we have the other side view. So you have dual side view plus the in view. 
which I really like. So let's say you're looking down the uh, wall of a piston or in a piston. You can see both sides. Check both sides for uh, make sure you have the proper uh, scoring on the or, uh, proper hatching, cross hatching on your cylinders and whatnot. And see if there's any damage. I really think this gives the ability. 4.3 inch display screen as well. As so I'm just going to jump in here and say these cameras do not do distance very well. What they're shining or they're very good at is from one inch to like five inches in view. That's what CP was trying to say. He just was a bumbling idiot. So back to the video. Let's see what's in my pocket. Uh, let's see if there's anything good in there. Oh, oh. Looking down in there. Looking down in there. Can we see anything on there? There should be... I'm trying to see if we can read anything in my pocket. I got a couple of units in here. I want to see if you can... Let me turn this. Just pretend that we're looking for something. And see if we can read... Just got dirty pockets. They're empty. Oh, there it is. We can. So that's my Streamlight wedge down in my pocket. Not too shabby. Uh, let me get the glare off there for you. But the Streamlight wedge, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty decent. You can see a pen over there and I buy it. That's not too bad at all, man. It's pretty clear. I'm pretty stoked with that. I'm not, I'm not too disappointed with that. See, I got a pen. That's down in my pocket pretty deep. So anyways... That's kind of where we're at on this Limic. The Lim Limic, and I will throw a link in the description for this one too. Uh, I think it's right around $100 maybe. But this is a triple lens, and I really like this. And the cord isn't really too crazy long. Uh, we'll be getting to more of this. I think some of you guys will get the gist of it and understand where I'm coming from on this. That this is, this is a great tool. Uh, I'm pretty pumped to see it and... Uh, pretty pumped to use it so uh yeah definitely this is a game changer tool and and i mean that in, in the most sincere way these these tools will definitely save you time and money and energy and effort all over the place time and time again i like the thin profile of it i like that it's dual i do not like the bluetooth uh, ones the guys the ones that are Bluetooth that hook up to your phones are a waste of money in my opinion uh, They never connect right the Wi-Fi signals get jammed up Buying a standalone one of these is way better and I'll tell you what this is better than the snap-on one I will tell you that much 1000% $1,800 snap-on one. I my buddies had tons of problems with his so this one's definitely Way better but anyways guys appreciate you watching remember to like comment share subscribe Ring that bell. Remember Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.